Welcome to the Genetics of God, where we explore the captivating intersections between science and faith, which reveals God in Jesus Christ. Today, we will delve into the extraordinary discovery that bridge just the gap between science and faith on the concept of substance and its significance in both the physical and spiritual realms. Join us as we uncover the astonishing parallel between DNA, Logos, faith and substance and how they all converge in the person of Jesus, the Messiah. Since the dawn of human history, scientists have grappled with the, the mystery of genetic material and its transmission across generation. Then, in 1869, Swiss doctor and the researcher Friedrich Meischer isolated a peculiar jelly-like material from human cells, which he named it nuclein or a new substance. Little did he know that he had stumbled upon something so profound and that this substance held the key to unlocking the secret of life. In 1944, a significant breakthrough was made by researchers Avery, McClure and McCarthy. Their groundbreaking work demonstrated that Meister's new substance was the fundamental material responsible for transmitting life across generations with no interruption whatsoever. But did you know that the scriptures also allude to this concept of substance? Over 3000 years ago, a shepherd boy named David used the very word substance in Psalm 139, 9, 16. Your eyes saw my substance being at yet unformed to describe hereditary material. Astonishingly, both laymen and scientists independently adopted the term substance to refer to what we now recognize as DNA. It took 2,500 years for scientists to unveil the extraordinary truth that this substance is indeed DNA, the molecule of heredity and the secret of physical life. But the remarkable connections between science and faith don't stop here. In the book of Hebrews 11.1, 1, the Apostle Paul <coughs> describes faith as the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Isn't it intriguing that a layman, a scientist and a theologian all employ the same terms substance? Could it be confirmed that the earthly substance mirrors the heavenly substance called faith and highlights the importance of faith in our lives? Certainly so. Now, let's explore the fundamental unit of the substance. DNA is composed of four essential letters, namely A, T, C, G, which form the genetic code. I call this code the word. Interestingly, in Greek, this fundamental word is referred to as the logos or refers to as Jesus. Just as the letters of the genetic code construct life, logos embodies the creative force beyond all existence. So, what is the substance of things work for? It is the Logos, the fundamental unit of life or the Messiah himself in the context of faith. Furthermore, what serves as evidence for things unseen? It is the manifestation of the Messiah in the flesh. In conclusion, the world has witnessed the manifested Messiah, Jesus Christ. Whoever places their faith in him shall be saved and find eternal life. The remarkable parallels between DNA as the substance of physical life and faith as the substance of spiritual life reveal God's infinite wisdom and intricate design. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey. We hope you found this exploration of the substance of faith inspiring. Please remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel 
to stay connected and receive notifications about part four of our episodes. Remember, the substance of faith opens the door to an extraordinary revelation of truth. Until next time, may your faith be strong and may you experience the substance of things you hope for.